So, Neil, if you had to right now decide that free will does exist or doesn't exist, what would you prefer? I'm my thinking over the recent years, because I didn't used to think about this at all. Mm -hmm. My thinking over recent years is leaning towards the absence of free will for practically everything we think and do in our lives. Mm -hmm. And I base that on the fact that over time, things that we have done as people in our species, at one time was, you are totally to blame for that, or just something you did, or something you, we've learned, no, this person is more susceptible than you are to addiction. Right. There's a biochemistry there. This person cannot just be made the life of the party because they're on the autism spectrum. They don't control that in the way you might think they should, mm. just because you're the life of the party. As you add up all of these things, let's go back to epilepsy, mm -hmm. where before that was even a word, you were occupied by the devil. Did you do something bad? Or, well, you knew it was not, in, everyone knew you were not in control of it, but today no one is saying, did you have the free will to not have an epileptic seizure? Of course not. Mm -hmm. Do you have the free will to not be depressed? The person who's ready to jump off the bridge, in that instant, do they have the free will to not jump off the bridge? I don't think so. Hmm. And the more I add up and explore the human condition, I'm forced to conclude that the direction we are headed hmm. is that we are all products of an absence of free will and as a result, society needs more compassion for people who do not otherwise fit in. Mm -hmm. See, I have the exact opposite position uh -oh. in my own mind. I feel that it is because of the absence of free will that you see in most behavior. 